Resolution sounds like something you only have to worry about at New Year, but it's all to do with measurement in science. Take a stopwatch and a wall clock. What are their resolutions? Well, a measuring device's resolution is the smallest difference that gives a perceptible change in the device's reading. With a wall clock, that'll be seconds, if it has a second hand. Milliseconds will not give a change in the clock's reading, where the hands are. A stopwatch typically has two places after the decimal point. This means it has a resolution of 0.01 seconds, one hundredth of a second. If I wanted to measure a time accurately, I'd use a stopwatch. It'd get me closer to what the real value is. As a general rule of thumb, the more decimal points a device can manage, the higher its resolution is. Uncertainty is different, though, though I'm not certain. No, actually I am. I'm certain. Uncertainty is to do with the interval within which the true value lies. Measurement methods always introduce error. It's impossible to say that the temperature of something is 20 degrees exactly. You might instead say that a temperature is 20 degrees plus or minus 2 degrees at a confidence level of 95%. Well, what does that mean? It means that you're 95% certain that the true temperature is between 18 degrees and 22 degrees, most probably at 20 degrees.